With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello. So question is saying this: the volume of 0.1 normal dibasic acid sufficient to neutralize one gram of base that furnishes 0.04 mole of hydroxide ion in aqueous solution. Right. So we have to find out the volume of 0.1 normal. Di basic acid which is required, or you can say which is sufficient to just neutralize the one gram of base, right? So let's try to solve it, right? So we have the point one normal di basic acid, right? That means you can use this, or you can say you can solve this question by using the concept of law of equivalence, which says that n one v one equals to n two v two, right? Right? Here you can see this n is our normality and v is our volume, right? So normality you can calculate it, right? So normality, normality is equals to number of grams of equivalent of solute per liter of the solvent, right? So that means, or you, in other words, you can write it like this, right? So that is molarity divided by n factor, right? So molarity divided by n factor. N factor is actually here. This is actually you can call you can call it valency factor, right? So this this is also called valency factor. Valency factor. Right, so let's say for you can see you can write here that for OH negative ions, right? So for OH negative ions, right? So I can say that for OH, right? Or you can say this. I can write another pen like this. So you see here for OH negative ions, right? So OH negative ions, the valency factor, the value of NF will becomes equals to one, right? So because there are only one ions, right? So now you can see here. So we have given. Point one normal di basic acid, right? So that means I can write here. I I can write like this this formula into this, right? So we have point one normal di basic acid, right? So we have to this volume, right? So we have to this volume, or you can say we have to require this volume just to neutralize this one gram of base, right? So I want to find out this volume, right? So I have to write like this v one, right? Now this is the normality, right? So this is the normality of base, right? So how to find out the normality of base? You just multi molarity divided by n factor, right? So now you can see there is a one gram of base that furnishes 0.04 moles of hydroxide ion, right? So you you we have given a moles, right? Moles of hydroxide ion, right? So that means molarity is equals to number of moles of solute per dissolved per liter of the solution, right? So I can write like this, right? So zero point Zero four. This is the moles and per liter of the solution. That means divided by one, right? This is the molarity, right? And the its valency factor is one, right? So valency factor is one, right? So I can say this: the volume, volume. I want to find out in one liter, right? So I can write this is equals to one liter, right? So now I can calculate the volume very easily, right? I can calculate the volume very easily for this equation, right? So it becomes, it becomes. You can see here, it, it becomes zero point. 0.04 right 0.04 divided by divided by 0.1 right so this volume comes out to be in liter right so here it becomes here it becomes you can see here it becomes 0.4 liter right so 0.4 liter but option we have given or you can say option answer we have given in the milliliter right so you can convert into milliliter right right so just multiply it by 1000 right so i can see this v1 is equal to so we have Find out that is 0.4 liter, right? So if you want to convert into milliliter, you have to just multiply it by 1000, right? So it you have to multiply by 1000, right? So now it becomes milliliter, right? So it becomes 400 ml, right? So 400 ml, right? So this is the volume required just to neutralize this one gram of base, right? So that furnishes 0.04 mole of hydroxide ion, right? So it, you have to do nothing. You have to use this formula, right? This formula, this is a law of equivalence, right? And by using this concept of normality and n factor, you can calculate the volume very easily, right? So hope in this way I can say this option D will be the correct answer, right? Option D will be the correct answer, and option A, B, and C D A, B, and C will be the wrong answer, right? So in this way I can say this option D will be the right answer, right? So hope this answers your question. So thank you. For class six to twelve, ITG and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.